Hey guys, Apple has officially released iOS 11.2.5 to registered developers today. And if you watched my videos two days ago on iOS 11.2 beta 4, I mentioned that on the 11th or the 12th, we could see a fifth beta and then a gold master copy by the 15th or 16th because Apple is sort of falling in this trend to release two betas before the gold master copy and then a Fisher release to the public. And that seems to be the case this time around. So we can expect 11.2.5 sometime next week. Now, along with 11.2.5 next week, Apple could be seeing the first beta for 11.3. So we'll fingers crossed for this because we still don't have the iMessages with an iCloud feature built into the software either. This software isn't a really big software update for iOS other than a lot of the security enhancements with the software. This one will bring additional layers of security for the specter of vulnerabilities as well. So the current build number is gonna be 15D5057A. We got the longer build number, but as I mentioned, next week we could see the gold master copy. So pretty much anything that's new with the software is gonna be internal. You're not gonna be able to notice anything with the software. Unfortunately, that iMessages is with an iCloud still not present. But there's one thing I really wanted to talk about, and that was, wow, this morning there was a crazy haywire thing going on with Apple servers that allow many devices to downgrade software to lower versions, iOS 6, iOS 7, iOS 8. And unfortunately, I missed the opportunity to do so. I could have easily downgraded to 9.3.3 and jailbroken several devices. And I also could have went all the way down to iOS 6. A lot of people did manage to get the, the software downgrade. I was looking through uh, the IPSW.me website here and it still shows the iPhone 4 is capable of being restored to 6.1.3 and 9.3.5, which is rather interesting. If anybody wants to test that, haven't had a chance to test that, but it looks like some devices still have certain softwares that are still signable. That was very, very interesting. The last time a downgradable server error happened, I think was at least four or five years ago, I wanna say, where you can downgrade and upgrade to different versions of iOS because iTunes and Apple servers were authorizing the signature to do so. Now, there's also one thing I wanted to point out uh, that I noticed myself, maybe this was already here on the display accommodations and smart Inver option. The YouTube application now looks proper. So you can actually watch YouTube videos with the proper colors. The colors won't be distorted and you'll have sort of that dark mode experience with YouTube when you have the smart invert enabled so it's not distorted. So other than that guys, there's really nothing really major happening other than that big downgrade uh, server issue with iOS 11.2.5. A lot of bugs, fixes and improvements. And of course, I just wanted to mention that quick YouTube thing there. But other than that, that's it. Hopefully next week we see 11.3 beta one. Very excited for that, including new emojis, new battery uh, testing features. So a lot of things happening with 11.3. So can't wait to get my hands on that software. We'll have to wait and see what Apple does. Hope you guys have a great day and have a great weekend. I'll see you real soon. Peace.